Hello, Crafty Angels, and welcome back to the channel. Today is Crafty uh, Scrappy Thursday, and we have Mrs. Gigi with us. Mrs. Gigi, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. And my thumb, I still am having issues with it, but rawr. we will play maybe two rounds of the prompt game and work on a project. I don't know yet. It depends mm -hmm. on how fast we can get the two rounds of prompts to be done. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and share this out. We had a little bit of te technical difficulties before we came live. But just a, a little heads up. Uh, we're not supposed to get rain today, but the way it looks outside, I'm thinking we might get it. So if I get booted, Mrs. Gigi will keep y'all entertained. Yep. That is weird. It's not letting me share on Facebook. Yo, I don't know how that works. I have never done it that way. So, like, the, the you mean the Facebook Live thing? No, the, just on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Share the link. But I copied and pasted it, so I'm good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a good. So it's nice. It's nice. We'll wait for a few people to pop on in and then we'll I'm get thinking, started. Should I go maybe this way? Any way you want it. Yeah. I'm and y'all just... will find all my social media links and the link to Mrs. Gigi's channel down in the description box. Hmm. A whole lot of fun links you have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I just realized I need more glue again. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's one of those never-ending story, and I... I don't know. I am hear I, you. Am I able to, you know, I cannot find the link for uh, Amazon Basic Glue. How? I don't know if I can get the link somehow. Hmm. Well, let me get that for you because I just ordered some of that glue. Mm -hmm. So I'll get the link for you. Yeah, I don't know because wh whenever I kind of search thing on um, because I have the Swedish Amazon, mm -hmm. it's so it's strange when searching for things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there you go. I send it in a message. No, oh, thank you, thank you. Where we is everybody? Need blue. I don't know. Ten o'clock, uh, maybe over at DJ Live today. I don't know. No, who's I don't live know. today. You know, I, I'm I'm like all confused when it comes to all the you know the people who, that are streaming mm -hmm. and what times they are streaming and if they are doing you know some sort of summer schedule or on a vac vacation or you know. I'm I like, know. <laughs> I have no clue. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Miss Kathy. So, we're going to let a few more um, people come in and then we're going to get started. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, there will be, you know, just a couple more minutes or so. Because I, I don't know about the notification thing, but sometimes it takes like two or three minutes for the notification. I know. I don't understand often. why it does that. Me neither, but, you know, it's how it works. So. <laughs> I don't know. So, Kathy. But I, I will type in morning. the prompts as we do them. So that they're there mm -hmm. yeah hmm 
Hmm. I put the link on Facebook, so we'll see what happens. How many prompts are we meant to do? Is seven. Like seven prompts. Yep. We're doing seven hmm. prompts today. Let's see if I can. Well, let's get started. Yeah. Yep. We're five, mi five minutes in and ha, nothing. Okay. Yep. Prompt number one. Tags or wild card? Oh, that's tags or wild card. That's kind of like a thing. Hmm. And wild card does that mean i don't know if i can hmm. put my spin wheel up here i think i have it on my computer but i'll wait and try it next week i don't want to try it right now oh the oh you haven't used that for quite some time have you i haven't used my spin wheel in a while Let's see. I mean, it'll make for more room on my uh, desk. But... Yeah. Let's see if we can, or um, does this tags or let me think. Let me re think this whole thing <laughs> my tag is going to be kind of small but it's going to be a tag it's going to be skinny uh oh I cut that one off kind of crooked but it's going to be a tag so let's do that we're going to flip this over I got to change the blade in my trimmer Mm hmm because it's starting to make jagged edges on my cardstock and and don't like it okay dokie okay. so i'm just doing like tearing it like this i can make a pocket over here to put it in but i have to make it a little bit smaller so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna angle this puppy. You ever seen an angle tag? You're about to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, put a little bread in there. There you go. Here's an angle tag. See? And we can take this. Oh no. This over here and make the pocket oh no no you are not a hundred percent in frame so i can partly see what you're doing but <laughs> better now no, okay i'm making tags you know the whole thing became two tags like this Oh, wow. as, of, as of right now, I don't know, but it, this is what it is as of right now. See, I got an angled pocket and an angled tag. Ooh. That's so, the, that's I'm nice. going to wait to glue it on till later. Because we never know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wasn't meant to do it like this, but it said tags as in you know more than one mm -hmm. so this was kind of meant to be <laughs> okay number two. Oh, household item i forgot to put item in here mm -hmm. or foil oh that means let's see i'm actually going to take these you know, Loosen the little bread thing and make some marks with the household item. 
Oh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Nightbot's working, y'all. Hello, Marty. Well, hello, Miss Marty. How you doing, dear? Household this... item. What can I use for a household item? I have no clue. I'm just doing... Well, I can use a napkin. That's household item, isn't it? It is. I'm doing some sort of mark making with this. I like your little egg beater. <laughs> mm hmm Just trying to use up as much of the paint as possible. Oh, I'm glad to hear that you're doing a lot better. Oh, me too. Hope everything, you know, went well with the eye thing and everything. I'm using some Elmer's clear glue right now. Just to see how it's going to work. And this is literally just mark making with with this. And then of course we cannot we need to use something. Let's see, do we want to have this to tie? take the rest of all the paint or as much of the paint as possible hi miss margaret hello hello welcome miss marty i'm still working on your um your fan so it's going to take me a while because I still have the, I think, the backing to do and a couple more things to do on it. Okay. I think this is going to be pretty. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you're ready. I am. No rush. No rush. I now, am ready. Hang on. I got to find out where I put the... Uh, I hate they don't let you go further than what you know, want to be far. Okay, let me paste this. Then I can put in number three. Mm -hmm. Number three. Oops, I almost pressed the enter button instead of the space bar. Thick or thin lines or scribbles? Thick or thin lines or scribbles? I'm going a little bit of mark making or line making again. Let's see what this means. Doing really thick lines here. And then maybe scribble on the other one. doing the thick and thin lines too mm -hmm. 
Oh, it just got really windy outside. Mm-hmm. This one. What's up with it? With night it. Nightbot? Nightbot. Why is he still putting a lot of things in wrong? What the crap? Yeah, he is. He is. It seems like, you know, all kind of strange things going on there. I don't know. The link is there. It brings up the, the, um, like I just clicked on thread and glue and that's the right link. I don't know why he says it doesn't exist. I don't know. Hey, I have you on in the background while we're moving my craft stuff, my crafty stuff. Oh, oh. Stephanie, you got a All new right room, Stephanie? A uh, what? That's nice. A room tour is coming up, hopefully. Or is it? <laughs> Stephanie's got a new craft room, y'all. That's always nice. Oh, right, she's rearranging her room, one of the two. Mm hmm She could be rearranging her room. Yep, but it, that's practically, you know, a, a new room. Like, see, yes, exactly. my daughter it's still a new room. room. So I wanna, <laughs> oh, I'm moving to hers. Oh. <laughs> Moving to hers? Yeah, yep. the room. Yeah, the daughter wants her the craft room now, so the room that she has. So oh. woke up Let's this morning see. at four AM thunderstorms. Blew a branch into my awning. Oh no. And tore it down and blew the lock. What? That is crazy. No. Wow. That is nuts. Pray you can get your stuff fixed, Miss Marty. That is just downright nuts, I tell you. Okay, number four. <laughs> mm -hmm. Didn't we just have this one? We did last one. Wrench or reindeer? Oh, dear Lord. This is why I like to have my wheel. Because I can keep them off until everything is complete. Wrench so you... or reindeer? Hmm. Now these oh, will really? be posted in my group, Mrs. Gigi's group, and also on my community tab. Grinch or reindeer? Do I want to are mess we up really my Like, are we really going to use that one? I'm thinking like. No, let's you, pull a new that, one. Okay. Yeah, that's like it's too strange of a thing. <laughs> let's pull a new one. That could be like you know Christmas related type thing, but not you know it's summertime. Okay, how about we use tinsel or napkin, which I already used, so I'm got I got that one done. Mm hmm. Pencil. But I could definitely let's let's look into the pieces. Or napkin. Hmm. I'm going to have to go through this and all the Christmas ones pull it out until Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, what? Not the Grinch again. No, that's really not you know, suitable for mid. Or if you're doing like, you know, Christmas in July or things like that, mm -hmm. I would definitely go with it. But, you know, I, I am not. <laughs> I'm not doing Hi, Christmas Candy. in July. Hi, Miss Candy. Hello, Candy. Hello. I don't know why it's saying all these links aren't working when they are. Hmm. You'll never know well, with the technical things over maybe there. Maybe not that the... one. I'll have to go in and fix that one. But I need to know which one it is.
So I already got my napkin down. Maybe you can put another napkin, something else on there. Let me see what napkins I have up here. I have to get some napkins uh, ready to send to Miss Jen. So I'm going to cut this one out, the bird. I don't want to send her any used ones, so I got to package some good mm -hmm. ones. Oh. I don't, I don't oh, know. For oh, some reason, I don't like to send used napkins to anyone. Do you really send used napkins? That is to me... I don't know. <laughs> it's just no. <laughs> no, I'm talking about napkins I've already used in a project. Not that kind of napkin. No, oh, no, no, no. It's like, no, we don't really. That is downright you. disgusting. <laughs> no, not that kind of napkin, Miss Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, what are you talking about? Are you really, literally going to send a napkin that you have? Oh, just my brain thinking. Mm, totally, no. no I, not that kind of napkin. That would be disgusting. <laughs> yep, it would. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> that would be mm. downright disgusting. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even send that. No. No, 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 yeah, no, that, no, no. I don't do that. that... I wouldn't I even send like, you that kind of napkin, Mrs. You know, that, that was like, seriously, what is she talking about sending used ones? I'm like, oh. No, I'm talking about you, the ones that I used for crafting. Yeah, I, I understand that now, but then, you know, I didn't really. Know. No, hmm. not that kind. <laughs> you know, there is definitely something strange going on with the Nightbot today. Because he is, I don't know. We do not know. I don't know. I might have to go back in and fix him again. Yep. For some reason, he's not fixable right now. People, you know, some people have had a lot of trouble with him, so I, I'm just staying out of it for now <laughs> it might be that i you know use it use uh, the thing in the future but... there's still a lot of glitch they're still in beta with nightbot i think mm -hmm. so they're testing that's all the I'm glitches thinking, and everything so... yeah that's what i'm was thinking so i was like you know i have to just let it be for now I've used them before and never had this issue. <clears throat> if they would leave well enough alone. Yeah, but they are testing out so many new things. So, you know, mm -hmm. you never know. Even StreamYard is testing out a lot of new things. And it's like, leave yep. well enough alone, people. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm-hmm. So or you will yeah. break it. Yep, that's kind of like uh, how I feel sometimes too with that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, oops. Got the wrong napkin. <laughs> what? Marty. She says, oops, got the wrong napkin. I'm trying to use up bits and pieces of the napkins that I've already used for yeah, that's what I was using. So many things just laying around. Oh, Can I put a butter? No, my butterfly won't fit on here. Might be one over here. The edge. Like that and let's see. Oh, that napkin is really nice. I have that one too. I think some somewhere <laughs> or a similar one. I like this one. 
Yeah. I think I have something like it. Something like it. No, not here. Marty got the oopsie napkin. Let's see, what is 20 years? Margaret, for about 20 years now, what's 20 years? The wrong napkin's out. And Marty's out of napkins. Hand of, oh, I, you know, might be something that I don't really understand. Let's see. I was meant to... I know that there is another layer. It is another layer, please, the layers. Sometimes they cooperate, sometimes they don't. They <laughs> yeah, I was like, am I, am, yeah, am I really going to take a you know, piece of, because I usually take a piece of tape or something just to, but then. I was thinking of not doing that today. So, so we have one there. Are we meant to have a small little pink type thing down there? 20 years since I've needed certain napkins, Mrs. Gigi. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Gotcha now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the feeling of maybe i think it was only five no it's june now seven months ago right before christmas last year i didn't realize the thing with napkins so i didn't have any and you know i do have some now <laughs> you could say but it, realizing that you you are not really you don't really need more than like two or three and they last forever <laughs> forever i think she's talking about the feminine napkin oh okay i got all that did it let me see the oh it's... I'm still struggling here. <laughs> Margaret, oh. cut it out. <laughs> you know, that other thing, I don't know about that though, because it might be some years left, unfortunately. Okay, I'll let that dry before I can glue it on. Uh... Okay, Mr. Nightbot, you're going in timeout for now. Let's see if it works. I'm putting him in timeout. <laughs> yeah. Like it works for everybody else, right? Yep. We have to test him and see if he works just like everybody yeah. else. Mm -hmm. Oh, you literally put him in, in the normal put him in time timeout. type thing. Yep. <laughs> These bottles here work better than the the big ones that you get. But I did get one from Maddie that works really well with Fabri-Tac. Uh, so it, isn't it like the Fabri-Tac bottle? Is it? Oh, that one. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Maddie has them for sale. I don't remember how much they are. Yeah, but I'm know. thinking about getting it for all my glues because it does work better than 
the Sugar Bell or the Wilson ones that you can get. Uh -huh. I might look them up on Amazon to see because I even have this one that has a little red cap. And it, it's like, they're really soft. I think the smaller the bottle, the softer they are. The bigger yeah, the thinking. bottle, the harder. Because it's this one here. I can't, it hurts my hands to squeeze it, even though it is kind of like a soft bottle. Uh -huh. But it hurts my hands. Even the one for this one. Oh, and this one still has some air going in it. See, this one still has, you can hear the air. Yep. And mm -hmm. I don't like that because it dries the glue out. So it might order me some of these because they're easy. See, with the cap yep. off and it holds hmm. the air because look, I'm pressing with the cap on versus with the cap off. So it holds hmm. the air really well. Yep. So I'm thinking about getting that for some of my other glues, but not my art glitter glue. I'm going to stick with these kind. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really into that many kinds of, you know, I have uh, glue. I, I like my glue stick. That's what I'm trying to say. I have glue, the Amazon glue sticks, these here and they're purple oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then i have my art glitter glue i have a bottle of elmer's glue a bottle of gesso uh my sculpey uh wood glue flat the mod paws that's all i basically have i don't have that many Hmm. I have this, the, the glue stick, this one just poured in and a smaller, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like Fabri-Tac. And then I have... Is uh, it the Kalao glue? No, it's, um, it's fabric glue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. know. It's not like any particular brand. It's... I don't it's know, just... Morty. Are you hungry? <laughs> Number five, favorite color or fine liner pen in any color? Hmm. Favorite color or did you say? Favorite color or fine liner pen in any color? Favorite color is blue. Am I going blue with this? Let's see if this one works. We'll go with. Oh, I see. I spell favorite wrong. Oops, my bad. My bad. I'm going with favorite color and doing blue. It seems like timeout don't work for Mr. Nightbot, y'all. Hmm. Let's try it again. I haven't. But you can't you just like turn him off somewhere? I can. I mean, like, can you, oh, the but only way I can turn him off is removing him as a mod. Yeah. And he's a mod, so I'll fix it over the weekend. That's all right. I'll probably work on him tonight. 
Now, mm -hmm. favorite color of fine liner pen. Hmm. Debating. I am debating. I'm just doing a little bit of mark making with the fine liner part of this pen. Because I don't have my fine liner. It's way up there. Let me see. I can use any kind of pen for fine liner. Because mm -hmm. all mine are like small tips. All my pens are fine, is like fine, really fine tips. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm going to use a gold pen. How's that? Yep. That's. And I'm just going to highlight the edges. Sorry if y'all see my head and, and frame, but that's just the way it goes. He's a stinker. Mm. Yeah, he is. He knows how to escape mm. time out, y'all. <laughs> That's what happens. But it's kind of strange that you uh, that you have to turn him off, you know, separate. But you can't do it like. No, you can't. You mm -hmm. have to go in a whole new. Uh, mm -hmm page to, to shut him down. Yep. I'll probably fix him up tonight while I'm watching you guys watching videos tonight. Uh-huh. Okay. Got that one, did it? This doesn't look like it's gold on this side. It looks like a regular pen, uh, graphite pencil. It's funny how up close a gold pen looks gold. But when you go a little bit further away, part of it looks like it's a graphite pencil. Yep, it does. For some of the, depending on what brand of pen you're mm -hmm. using, I think. This mm -hmm. one is... It's a gel impact uniball. Oh. It's a uniball. Mm-hmm. Ready? So, yes, I am. Ooh, we got nature or animal. Well, I got a bird. Bird, bird, bird. Yeah, I do too, but we can add more birds. Nature. Mm -hmm. Animal or nature. I could definitely go with another animal. Let's look into. Um, I did have a cat napkin here somewhere. I could go with that. Or. Let's see. Well, just let Is Mr. That... Nightbot go. And I'll fix him tonight. I'm going to use some butterflies on one of the tags because I really do I want, want to, to use them. The corner, but mine's like I I don't want as you see how it did with the bird. It lightened the bird up when I put glue on it. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I want to try to figure out how I can keep the butterfly dark. You see, like, the natural color. I'd have to glue two of them together to keep it a dark color. So. Oh, I almost cut my paper. But, oh, you mean, like, cut it to, if you want to keep the color. The on, actual you know, color. Know. I, mean, I want to see how it's going to work, though. Because I wanted to do a butterfly in the center, 
but I ended up doing the bird. Let's see if we can just put a little bit of glue on this paper and then cut it out to make it a little bit sturdier. It's dark again when the glue dries. But that's the thing, the glue's dried on this part here. Mm hmm Does it show or you know because I can't see it on okay. camera? Oh. This part in person is still kind of wet, but over here is dry. And if I put it down, you can still hardly see it. We'll see what happens with the butterfly. See if I can because I think the, the butterfly has more vibrant colors. Mm -hmm. So it might stand out a little bit more. You know, I'm just having it like this. Mr. Nightbot is gonna be put in the corner soon. And maybe another one. Which one are we going to choose? See, this one, even with the glue, is still bright. See? You can still see that really well on camera. Mm hmm But the bird, you can't see it that well. Let me try something here. Now I'm clear. Yeah. yeah, I was. Yeah. I just noticed that my screen went blurry for a second. You know, it might be. Sometimes you don't really know exactly why it does that. It's the auto. I have to go in every now and then and fix it. Oh, okay. There. You're going to go there, Missy. And after everything's dry, I'll glue my tag pocket on and put my tag in it. Let's see, we'll take another of the little things here. Put it out. Need to have it stuck on the glue. And cut it out. Well, well now. And now I see why this one's still bright when I glue it on. I still have one uh, part of the napkin at the bottom. One of the layers. Okay. Oh. I glued both of them down so it'll stay vibrant. <laughs> See, I'm just literally cutting around this. And it's all good. But I got I, a lot of requested videos to record too, so. Oh, it's going to be fun to look at. Well, what type I have videos are there? Requests to show people want to see how. I pieced together my videos and stuff like that. So I had a few requests for that from people. So that's kind of interesting. It's another type video. You know, I do that every now and then. Whenever I have requests for it, I do it. 
Mm -hmm. But if I don't have a request for it, then I don't do it. Usually when you see a video like that come out on my channel, it's usually a request. Mm -hmm. So I have, I think it's three to four request videos to record. On top of three projects to decorate your life and three projects for Kara. <laughs> oh, a lot of fun things coming up. Uh -huh. I've decided to take it a little bit slow throughout summer. I am going to do videos and things, of course, but I'm just not doing lives on my channel other than, you know, just pop up lives. I might whenever go back I feel a little like on lives for the summertime. I'm not sure because most of my lives are at night. I think maybe during the summer, the daytime lives, I'll cut, you know, cut back on, even though it's just once a week, and then pick it back up in the fall. That way, it's a lot easier for you and I. If we want to make plans with family, we can go mm -hmm. on a family outing during the day. Yeah, yeah. For me, you know, I've already had my whole day, so <laughs> for me, oh, well, that's. It all depends on what you want to do because it's your channel. So I will just I have to see about adjust it. to that. But I can totally understand if you want to do something else during, you know, summertime because, you know. It depends because my daughter usually takes them to the beach during the day. Uh-huh. And then... You know, by the time they come back, it's like noontime, past noontime. They get home around dinner time. So it's like, eh, nothing to do about that time. Mm hmm. Last one. Yeah. Unless Miss Gigi wants to go for more music no, paper or graph paper. Mm, oh, music paper graph or graph paper. paper? Ooh. That's interesting. It really is. <laughs> do I have any of the I do know. I do have I don't know what happened, but I don't have any any music paper at all at the moment. So, I have what? some, but in the midst, of, that's another thing I got to do is try to get my room done by the end of next month. Or let's oh. put it the second week of August, I want to have my room done and be able to find something. Because <laughs> right now, literally all the projects that I've been doing, I've been just stacking everything on the side of me, and I got a big old pile that's about to go collapse. Oh. Yeah. I can so only imagine the amount of up. things. <laughs> Usually I that's... clean it up before I go to bed. Uh -huh. But lately it's been like project after project after project, and uh, just throw it to the side and let it go. Oh. And me with my OCD, that drives me nuts. So I need music paper or graph paper. I don't have graph paper either on hand right here. But let me see if I can, without causing a craft to land, see if I can find any one of the papers. Or you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw oh. me some music notes. Ooh. That I can do. <laughs> Let's see. I do have this, but I'm not sure. No, this is graph paper. But my my daughter has created this on the other side. Oh, that's pretty. She she took you know literally a normal graph paper like this. She was a little bit bored. I would cut that up. So she created small puzzle pieces throughout the whole paper. And oh, then wow. started 
and then started to color them in. <laughs> Like now, if she thing. would, if you would have caught it before, you know, you could have made a printable out of that. Yeah, I could do that. I could de definitely do that. <laughs> if you outline it on the back, uh, Margaret says, "Cool tags, Mrs. Gigi." Oh, thank you. Thank um, you. if you outline it on the back, you can make a digital out of it. What other note I want to do? Somebody put some music notes in the chat, please. Since I'm <laughs> in a sketchy mood right now. With my big bottle of water. Oh, that reminds me. I need my water right now. It's so... Oh, I don't know. Let's throw some music note emojis up. <clears throat> so I can sketch them onto my thing and put it on here. Oh, oh there you go, know. Marty. <clears throat> Let's see if we can create. I'm, I'm actually going to use her thing here. It's graph paper, in, you know. I have Let's it see, here. I got those two notes. That's all. I don't. That's the only two notes they show. I have her original here, but I'm going to use a copy of it. So. Mm hmm. Let's see about because I, I you know imagine that I don't know how long this took but literally all the small little squares are filled that in that like, took a pieces. long time yeah. thanks Miss Marty <laughs> thanks Miss Candy you got the original from that Oh, this is the original. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, I copied it and printed it out. But I'm just going to use some of it. I would say have her do it again, but that probably took her a long time to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I know that she has made similar ones, not this big, because this is like a whole sheet of paper, you know. Uh -huh. She has made smaller ones before. I, you know, this, I don't know. It, it, it's nice with all the... Um, That's the my music in notes. Here. And I'm going to use some small little bits and pieces and glue on here. What do y'all think about my music notes? Well, they look exactly like music notes are meant to look. So I'd probably you know. glue the graph paper to the back of a tag for there you go. I'm, 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 well, I'm going to glue this whole tag thing onto a paper in my big book 22, so I'm not really going to use it as tags. Thanks, Miss Marty. Um, I was thinking, ah, oh, I can make graph paper on my computer. You could. Since I made my own, uh, uh you know. planner uh things i don't know if i want to use some small little make more uh music note emojis instead of just two of them what they only have two music note emojis yeah. What you try to do, Candy? She wasn't too successful with something. I don't know what she meant by that. See, watch. I'll show you guys what I made. 
to make graph paper it's just dots gonna spaced out going across the page that's all here's my month my weekly this is my weekly one okay i did this all yesterday on my computer and here's the month if i can do the graph paper I'll send the original to Mrs. Gigi and she can make a printable out of it and put it in her group. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, planner pages that I've done. I'll send them to her and she can put them as a printable in her group. Oh, yeah, that would be nice to have. Hey, it's, it's going to save you some money on buying a, yeah. a, a big old planner for 20 some bucks. No, I have a so blank that. planner that I've never used. <laughs> oh. It's still sitting on my dresser. And it's nothing's written in it. I can use that too. And I can shrink, I can scan it into my computer and shrink it. Mm -hmm. But I made my own and I made it the way I made it. I made it, if that's a word. <laughs> If that's the one, yeah. I made it the way I wanted it. Mm -hmm. So, and the way I can put it into my planner. So, and I like the way they turned out. Okay, my music notes are on here. So, our words for, whoops, 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 whoops. I'm getting them all mixed up here. Our prompts for today were tags, a wild card, household item, or foil, uh, stickers and lines, or scribbles, a tencel. I gotta laminate this one. Mm -hmm. I might have to redo all my cards and relaminate them a different way. Or a napkin, a fine line, fine liner pen, any color or favorite color nature or animal music paper or graph paper yep and i'm trying okay, to Ms. find Marty, thank you so much for being here and these were the ones that we made that i made i'm going to have them here somewhere Keep us updated. So, June 16th. Hmm. Oh, snap. I put glue on the wrong side. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Now I'm going to have to wait for that glue to dry before I can glue it on the right side. I'm just going to put a little piece of paper here to cover December 9th. I don't know. I took that from some sort of book. Put these put this, back in here. This one on and write today's date on it instead. Okay, put crumbs away, put this away to dry, and get another project that I want to work on, and I have no idea what I want to work on. This can be a slanted pocket. That's oh, yeah, do. good. I'm going to glue a napkin on here and use it for a pocket on something. Do I want art glitter glue or do I want Elmer's clear? I'll do art glitter glue. 
is that as good as you know they say because i was thinking about ordering some but i'm, I'm not really sure what art if, glitter glue mm -hmm. if you use barely art no i haven't this... that, you know we can't get it here so <laughs> We can't get our little glitter glue either, apart from if you order it online. So, Barely art glue and art glitter glue is the same thing. I have both of them, and I use them interchangeably. Mm -hmm. But they're basically the same type of glue, just a different name. Oh. It's one of them cheaper than the other, or you know, like yeah, I think barely art is cheaper. I'd have to look it up for you. Yeah, because I haven't uh, purchased barely art in a while. But if if it's cheaper, then I must start purchasing that and and use my art glitter glue sparingly. <laughs> mm hmm. Because they're both the same thing. I mean, literally, you can't, there's no deciphering the difference between art glitter glue and barely art because if you read the ingredients, they're the same thing. Hmm. Isn't it strange how they can, like, take, I'm thinking because of the brand being different, mm -hmm. they can change up the price. <laughs> Oh, I see Amazon has purple glue and clear glue, too, along with the glue sticks. I do have some of the, here, some of the calendar pieces that I had. Was it together with you I worked on these? I created some sort of pocket, if I remember how to. No, I don't know. Let's look <laughs> into that. Let's let's look into those and it, unfortunately i can't look into how i made those because those are sent out <laughs> there's something like this i think hmm. okay we have barely our glue it's 14.99 for a what size about two fluid ounce but there's a coupon for 9.99 so and it popped up automatically when i got it on the website on amazon or glitter glue for the same size no this is 20 milliliter let me see Oh, 20 two milliliters. Bottle, mm -hmm. Well, two ounce bottle of art glitter glue is cheaper. Uh, it was $19. It's on sale for 37% off, which makes it at $12. So, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we'll definitely look into that. I mean, that, you know, depending on how much it is for, like, shipping and things for me. So It depends on the size that you get, too, because the 8-ounce bottle, that's mm -hmm. the refill. That's what I use it for anyway. I use a 20-ounce, too, for refill. Um, that's on sale for 42% off. Regular mm -hmm. price is twenty one. It's twelve not twelve twenty five. So for that one, but if you get it where you have the two ounce bottle, or no, the eight ounce and the two ounce uh, together, and you get the metal tip with it, that's twenty three forty. And that's forty percent off. Oh, I mean they do have the percentage off, but with the art, barely art glue, 
there's a coupon that pops up whenever you click on it. Oh, okay. So I don't know if it'll pop up on your end. Probably not because, you know, I'm not in the U.S. So. Oh, they got a new glue out called Tech Bond. It's an all-purpose white glue for crafts, professional household wood, and more. What? <laughs> that sounded good. A good one. And it's only $4.79 for a 16-ounce bottle. Hmm. 32-ounce bottle is uh, $7.59, which I think that's not bad. But I haven't tried it, so I wouldn't uh, know how it works. Mm -hmm. But if I can get it, I'll try to get it and see if I can test it against art glitter glue, barely art glue, and uh, Elmer's. And then I'll test it against the glue sticks, too. To see mm -hmm. if it'll work. Yep. Because it's all purpose glue, it's non toxic. So, and you can That's use it on good. everything. Instead of having like Fabri-Tac and all of this, yeah. mm -hmm. you got one glue that does the whole thing. Yeah, that would be wonderful if that was the case. But I want to know if it's archival. Oh, that's a good thing to know, of course. Because I like the archival glue. It does in and outdoor. So you can use it for in or outdoor. What? Hmm. We have to see about that. <laughs> So I might test it and see and let y'all know. That would be a video, I would say. Uh-huh. So I might get the 32 ounce and test it against, test it for like a month. I'm going to do like this, right? And put the name of the glue on back of each item, each uh, thing that I make. So I know, uh-oh, apparently I glued it to my uh, desk oh, here. That, that's uh, not good. <laughs> I'm going to test it out and see. And if it holds up, you know. Mm-hmm. If I can test things, and I buy this with my own money, so, you know. Mm -hmm. If I can find something cheaper and it works the same, talk about I'm going to go for the cheaper one. Yep. I'll keep art, barely art and art glitter glue for, like, if I make something that I want to sell, I will use those two glues for it. But otherwise, I will use the other one. But if they all work the same, I don't see... And if you have one glue that does everything, I don't see the, the point in having, you know, six mm -hmm. million glues on hand. True. Because if I showed you my glue tray that I'm looking at right now, Hmm. Girl. Oh, that okay. It's got like five different glues in it. Oh, I only have the three that I that I showed you. Oh. I have the Amazon Basics glue sticks. I have my art glitter glue. This one I think is Elmer's glue. No, this is art glitter. I got a label that one. Mm hmm This one I think is Sculpey here. Yeah, that's the Sculpey stuff. I got gesso. I got wood glue. I got the Elite glue stick, mm -hmm. which I don't like. I got Crafty Tacky glue. 
my big bottle art, and mm -hmm. I got Fabri-Tac, and then Mod Podge, which needs to be filled up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got all of those, and if I can find one that'll work for everything, and it works really well, I'll let y'all know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, look at Candy. She says, Line Co. Like, oh, it, archival. Have you tried that one? Line Co. No. Line Co? Archival glue. That might be, hmm. Depending on how it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I could get it and test it for like a month or so, that I'll do it. I'll do a video the day I get it, you know, and then a month later, I'll come back and see how it worked. Mm-hmm. Because if I can find something that's going to help everybody and it's archival, we'll see. I'll do like a one month to see how it's still holding up. Do it for a year to see how it stands up. How it, oh, it sticks yeah. and how the color is and all of that. And but do the that, pros that and cons is a whole, listing. Yeah, that's a whole like, yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, from... if I can find something to craft with that's no matter what it is, if I can find it at a better price, not so much a cheaper price, but a better price, mm -hmm. I'm going to test it and see if it holds up like the other glue, other products that I use. Yeah, if you can get it cheaper, it's always you know, nice. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to keep my crafting on a budget so that glue would work good on a budget. Mm-hmm. Instead of me using our glitter glue all the time. Let's see. I have all of now here's one pocket. And this one I can still fold over a little. Like so. And add a little piece here and a piece here to make it like a, what they call it, a uh, accordion folder. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like your little paper flowers. Yeah. Then I haven't made those I in a long think time. It, I think it was like Thursday Crafty Friends project that I, you know, used scraps. And I had a lot of, Ew. I don't know what i was working on but i had a lot of those type mm -hmm. things and i was just looking through all the bits and pieces here because i have too many small bits and pieces just laying around so this is going to be used in this journal this is my I don't know, but it's a journal that I just put things in randomly. Mm -hmm. Not really any purpose at all. It's just gluing things in that's just laying on my desk. I have yet to make a glue book. Oh, start one. It's fun. Start. I have, oh, that's one thing I have yet to do. That make an album. I think that's it because I've made a junk journal already. Mhm. Mm so I think that's the only things I have yet to make is a glue book, and I forgot the other book I said, an, a mini album. You know what? I created a glue book. I, you know, you have definitely seen mine. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, you know, it's it's not really a glue book. It is 10 pages, I think it is. Literally printer, printer paper. 
Mm -hmm. And I just started, you know, I sewed them together and just started to put things in here. Mm -hmm. Random things. You can do glue booking however you like, but, you know, I just started putting small little bits and pieces in that I liked. And, you know, isn't that like, you know, it's not really anything but you could do like <laughs> theme ones, like now this one is a glue book too but it's not really you know this it's a little bit more of a you know some sort of a creation on each page uh -huh. But I find it just relaxing to create and or just glue and mm -hmm. then the, cre the creation comes. Now the one she's talking about, the line coat comes, that's PVA glue. And it's a water soluble uh, glue. Uh-huh. And it starts out mm -hmm. at seven ninety eight per bottle, but I'd have hmm. to get me the big refillable, <laughs> the big old gallon to refill it, so I don't have to keep buying it. And a refillable. But if you think it's good, I would definitely go with the smaller one first. If if that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with the the seven ninety eight first. And then go with if I like it, then buy the gallon. That's, that's so that's so two glues that I me. will try to get and um test them out. You see, that one too came up with a coupon. The thing is, when you say like a gallon, I, I you know that big of a container of things doesn't even exist here you know it's am really? amazing to me it's amazing to me that you can buy you know at the, if you are like of course if you order it for you know like a school or something you can get it but like private person like that's not even possible <laughs> it is i got a big old bottle of elmer school glue a gallon oh wow Mm -hmm. No, we are not. Now the yes paste, I love. I like that glue. It's a bit sticky, but it's good to use. It, uh oh, it's good to use if you uh, have something that you want to really, really stick. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't know if it's a archival type glue or what. I have to really test it out to see if it's archival because I use it every now and again. When I don't want to use our glitter glue, I use that one. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, that's going to be a good test for me. Test art glitter glue, barely art glue, those two glues with um, the yes paste, and do like a do like a video where I, you know, yeah, you put it glue stuff together, and then come back a month later and see and compare all of them uh -huh. together. You know, yeah. Oh, have a, so, have a beautiful rest of your day, Candy, and good luck today. Have well, a good day, Miss Candy. Fun, fine to, you know, like, thing to try out. And if I don't like it, then I'll let y'all know. Mm -hmm. I'll buy the smaller, the smaller bottle first. And if I don't like it, then. I'll let y'all know, and then y'all can pick and choose when I do the pros and cons of everything. Yep. Look at this. That's pretty. Oh, yep. 
It really is. So let's see if I can get those next month. Those two bottles. Well, actually, there's three bottles I need to get next month, I think. What? The Lenco. I need to get the Tech Bond. And. Oh, are you going to compare them to? Yes, the, or... I'm going to do pros and cons and stuff like that on each glue. And every month, I'm going to, for a year, I'm going to let y'all know how good it's stuck. If it's still holding and stuff like that, because I'll keep it to the side and say like, oh, it's still holding tight. Uh, there's no discoloration, you know, things like that. Because mm -hmm. if it's a good archival glue, then I'll keep it in stock. That's the, that's the thing. I like to keep glues on hand that I really like. And that I know I'm going to use. If I don't think I'm going to use it, then I won't keep it. Yep. I won't even bother buying it. I'll use what I have and that'll be the, the end of that. Mm -hmm. Like Barely Art and Art Glitter Glue, they're the same thing. I mean, they hold really good. I can give you that because I've been using that for like, what, four years now? And but it, are they like from? Is it from the same company? But one I always is order than it the other? from Amazon. Oh, the okay. same exact yeah. company because I go to my past orders to see if you know. When I go to my past orders, I always order from the same company. Yeah, because but I'm thinking they, that the original company that made the actual product, like the glue, the glue company. It comes company. from the original company. Yeah, but I'm thinking that company, is that the same one for barely? The I barely don't glue? think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I don't think it's the same company, but when you read the back of the bottles, they're the same. There's maybe one or two items in the formula that's different. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll make a list when I um when I do the comparison, I'll make a list of all the ingredients in each one mm -hmm. and put it in the description box and then I'll take a picture of each bottle and put a list of the ingredients right next to it so y'all can compare it on the video. Mm -hmm. I think, hi, Miss J. Thank I think there's only you. one or two different um, ingredients in each one. Hmm. So that's going to be interesting. It's going to be really fun to do that. Now, I got to try to figure out, Mrs. Gigi, how you did that envelope, that pocket. Which one? I don't remember. The one that you folded it this way, that way, and every way in between. <laughs> As, uh, some of the, these ones that I made? Yeah. Um, you know, it's just... You know this. It's I, I have or I've glued it now, but it's like this, and then just fold it. You know, really close to the fold fold line, but not wide. Mm -hmm. and then... That's the side pocket. Yeah, you have it like that, yeah. or back here if you like, or you can this one you can have like this. Mhm. Mm you can have it like a side pocket too if you like, but I made it to go, you know, like this. And it's a double one because, you know, it's up, opened up here. So uh -huh. let's see if I can show you again. I'm trying to do the millions of uh, book pages that I have. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to do literally just using up so half 
and literally half again and then just fold it to close to the fold line in the middle there but not quite and then mm -hmm. just fold it over so then you have it on this side depending on you know which yeah. side you are because yeah. i'm going to cover these i got that pocket I'm thinking that now. I will cover these in some sort of project in the near future, but I won't do it today. Just using up bits and pieces of paper. And these, no, these will be used for something else. Okay, got my triple pocket deal here. Uh-oh. One of them's crooked. And that's going to drive me bonkers. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I could literally use a paper piece like this, you know. I'm, I don't really mind. Mm. That's why I'm trying to because use all my book pages. Yeah, because I'm I'm trying to use up, and then I will cover it, cover it anyway. Mm -hmm. So you know, it cover won't really with scrap show. Cover paper or printables. Mm -hmm. It won't really show at the end of it anyway, so I'm not really. You see? see how... Since I made all my own, I got all these planner pages to use up. <laughs> oh, are you going to use? Uh, are they like ready to go and use or, or are you going to use them in a journal? I'm going to have to use them in projects. These are all you have to do is date it. Mm -hmm. Literally, all you have to do is date them like this. But I created the same thing on my computer. This was my uh, inspiration to do it on my computer. Because I can type in all my appointments, so that way, when I go, and they say, "Oh, you have, can you do this time on this day?" I can just look at all the appointments I have, and not have to worry about reading my doctor written handwriting. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you know, I you... just do it that way, and I have up to. 2023 almost ready to go so now i gotta use up all of these pages for pockets and oh. stuff you know mm. what i could do fold these backwards and have lines to write on right here how's that the only thing yeah, is i don't want do the that? days of the week i don't want the days of the week showing <laughs> Yeah, but fold it the other way if, you know, it's white on the back side. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. if, if you're going to cover it somehow. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover it with some digitals. Yeah, I could literally go because I have a whole bunch. Usually I use these white, you know, papers like this to create something on if I've you know, want to doodle something and add something to a page or two. Let's see. I have so many things just laying here. A little bit of those will be used. This will be used. This will not be used at all apart from We're going to throw parts of it away. This was a little bit of a trial and error type thing with my digital that I have in my Facebook group. <laughs> 
because I tried to print on different type of papers and some did work and some didn't. This, because I got myself a new printer too, so I'm not really familiar with you know everything how it really works. I used to have my old printer. I used to be able to print everything in circles. This one, I I don't think I can. I haven't tested it yet. I know I can do wallet size. I can do five by seven and stuff like that. But I've not tried um, to do circles. Yeah, but I'm circles have, uh, i'm like seriously how of course you can print circles or how do you well, mean? it depends <laughs> on how you have it set up because mine i can go up to like the uh how they call it, the film strip size i can do wallet i can do three and a half by five eight by ten Five by seven, four by six, and full page. Uh -huh. But I can't do the circles anymore, and that's what I miss. Because I used to be able to do the ATC coins. Yeah, but of course you can. It must be some sort of something. Of course you can. I have to out. play around with the settings. To see if I can do the circles. Right now, I don't have time yeah. to do that. Yeah, I'm thinking I printed I should... a, pro a project that I'm uh, working on. I printed in grayscale, and oh my God, did it come out ever so pretty? Oh, you know, uh, Miss J, uh, these pockets, you could say that it's a challenge. Um, I don't know, are you, have you made tags and pockets for Kara Brandon's Facebook challenge type thing? On I've made some already. Yeah, I have too. But these are li literally just scrap bits of paper that I'm going to cover for Look. another project. So I'm going to show you. Look, watch this. All Kara Brandon right here. Yeah, I this saw is, that the other day. Beautiful pieces. This is all Kara Brandon and one of the projects I'll be working with for her. So here you got her tags. Okay. These are not backed yet. I got to back those. You got the small and large tags. Uh, these are not from her, though. These are from scrapbook paper. <laughs> um, you got all the florals. This is the teapot. The tea uh, uh, kit. Yeah. Oh, the new one that she has out. Uh -huh. <gasps> it is gorgeous. Yep, it is. Now, here's her pocket. Okay, she's got pockets of everything in this kit. So my project is coming up soon with this kit, with these kits. It's, I think, three different kits. You got the uh, pink, the green, and yellow, I think. I have to get my prints over there. These, I literally sat here and fussy cut it. And glued and fussy cut it again. I can only imagine the amount of time that you spent on doing Oh, no, it took me a while. It took a while. But I'm happy that I have all this to work. I'm going to do a sing single signature book, uh, junk journal, and use all of these in it. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. So, I'm going to show y'all those three kits. Here's the pink. This is the, the pink tea party kit. And 
Let me see. These are the ones that I got two of the pink. What? No, this is the green tea party kit here. See? Uh huh. This is the pink. And this is the garden tea party kit. Mm -hmm. This one has 25 pages. This one has 19. This one has 19. So these are the three kits that I'll be working with. And that's all the um, ephemera pieces that I just sold from these three kits. I double printed the kits so I can have some ephemera to cut out to work oh, on mm -hmm. the kits. So these three videos are coming up. And then I have, I think, three to four videos for Decorate Your Life coming up. So Ooh. be prepared. Oh, yeah. There's a oh, lot coming up on my channel. Mm -hmm. I can't say exactly when, but they're coming. <laughs> Because it's, I mean, I'm going to take the pockets that I'm making out of the planner pages. I'm going to cover mm -hmm. them up with Kara's um, papers. And I'm going to use some napkins. I'm going to go back and forth between her, her printables, napkins, and things like that. So it's going to be page, book pages, um, line paper, mm -hmm. tissue paper. I could have vellum in it. I don't know what I'm going to put in it or how many pages I'm going to put in the journal yet. So it's kind of like I have to sit here and literally say like, okay, I'm doing these tags and I want to do a tag book, right? So I have to sit here and see if, say, I want to cover... Uh, this one up with something. I'll have to pick a, a page from her printable and mm -hmm. cover this one up. Even though, oh, I didn't notice that, but they got some lines in this one. Woohoo! I might not cover that one. <laughs> but I also make my own line paper uh, for the journaling tags, and this that's what these are going to be as soon as I back them on to cardstock. I will uh, add line paper to the back of them. So these will be journaling tags. And it's going to be, I have to literally sit here and take the kit, break it down, and plan how I want it to do. Vanessa, mm -hmm, that type mm -hmm. of paper, do you print it? I print it on regular paper. This is not cardstock. This is regular printer paper. I cut it out on red. Uh, I print it on regular printer paper. Then I back it on cardstock, and then I cut it out. I cut them out yeah. first because by me cutting them out, I can space them the way I want them on the cardstock, and not waste mm -hmm. you know not waste too much cardstock. And the scraps I have from cutting these out, I usually save and I make like a little pocket on the front or a little pocket on the back to put stuff on. I do print on cardstock, but it's very rare that I'll put it on cardstock. If mm -hmm. I want the colors to stay really vibrant, then I'll put it on cardstock. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll print it on that, but... To me, the color stays true to color, even on regular paper. I mean, you don't have to have... This is why I try to do videos where I'm using, like, just Elmer's glue and regular printer paper mm -hmm. to show people that you don't have to have cardstock or, or glitter glue or all the, as I call them, fancy smancy glues or supplies to make something i mean like no, you, you definitely me, don't. me and you are in the same boat we either use regular paper or you know whatever we have yep i mean you can take 
regular printer paper and make whatever you want out of it. Yep. It doesn't absolutely. matter. It really doesn't. I mean, you know, I all of this here is printed on regular printer paper and backed on cardstock. Uh, you like know? I say, you know, you don't really need anything to create. So exactly. It, I mean, you can like... take, say, a Manila folder, bag that on there. I mean, go to Dollar Tree, buy the legal size folder, and you can put a lot of these ephemera things on it, and then cut it out, and then you got because Manila folders are cardstock. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't have to have everything to any, you know, that much stuff to craft with. Oh, no, you don't. You don't. I mean, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to see if I can collab with somebody on doing a cra literally crafting on a budget series on my channel. But I want to collab with somebody else to see, you know, to show them that we both can do different uh, projects with the same items, and it'll turn out different. I mean, and just looking at projects that's gonna come out the same. Literally. You know, just thinking about the project that we have November creating a journal from just, you know, literally mm -hmm. junk from junk mail. It became. Uh, yeah, we really did that last year. We did uh, December daily, too. And we did it all on just with junk mail. Yep. I mean, to me, index cards, printer paper. um you know, book paper, magazine pages. Um, I mean, just plain old Elmer's glue. It doesn't, I'll do it. I'll do the series because the lady I designed for is doing that same series. But I'm going to do mine without having. Mm, it's gonna be hard, but without what? having to use dyes, and I'm gonna do it for. Let me see. I don't know when I'm gonna start it. I want to start it soon. So without, without, you know, you don't really need dyes, do you? No. I, I mean, I will use them, but if you have printables that already has the things designed for you. You don't need a die. Really, you don't. I mean, a pair of scissors, and you can cut it out. It looks like a die. You had it, a die for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see. I'm going to plan out this series and see how long I want it to go for. And then I'll do a video letting y'all know when the series is going to launch. So, you know. Yeah, that's, that's going to I be I mean, fun I'd rather show call. people how to craft on a budget and use what they have than, I mean, I love being on the two teams that I'm on. I love it. Because mm -hmm. I still can craft on a budget with that, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though it's going to be a series, I can still use printables. I can still use, you know, my... A lot of times, I don't even back the stuff that I cut out of printables. I just... Y'all can watch my videos, and y'all going to see me just taking the printable and putting glue on the back of the paper and slapping it down. I mean, literally, that's what I do. But hmm. if y'all want, I'm going to put a poll on yeah, in that. my community tab for doing a series like that, 
uh, one with using all the whatever I have here with our glitter glue, barely mm -hmm. art glue, and all that. And then one with the series of not using all the expensive stuff, using this mm -hmm. and this. You know, one thing that I, one thing that I had bought totally new last week. You know, I use my uh, mm -hmm. you know, brushes a lot. I bought myself a new set. So these are going in the bin right now. <laughs> the old ones. No, if you <laughs> save those, you can use them for stippling. No, I'm not. They are going, they are so disgusting. <laughs> so <laughs> they are going in the bin. I but you don't them. have to have all the expensive, um, you know, these were inks, glues, paintbrushes, uh, tools you don't have to have all that i'm gonna do that series the, i i i have no clue if you know this brand of oh dollar you know. rooney yeah that's big yeah. here at walmart yeah you know i bought them for uh 25 cents <laughs> i think it the club, that's the same kind of paint brushes i have <laughs> i don't have those and for my inks i have the makeup brushes from amazon they come to pack like they get a Dollar Tree. Oh, you mean like these? No, not that. I have those and I have uh -huh. these brushes. Here. Oh, those. Oh, I haven't got those. Yeah. I mean, literally, that's what I, I use, whatever I have here. I have the Tempo scissors, but <laughs> this is what I go to the most. <laughs> These scissors here, and I have these, but I use these, mm -hmm. you know, my little roller, that's Dollar Tree. This one is crazy. This is an Ikea one, and mm -hmm. I, you know, me and my husband, we've been together for 26 years. Wow. I, I remember you, you know, going, you know, the first time we got an apartment and we uh -huh. needed, you know, everything. It was 25 years ago that I bought this one and it still works from Ikea. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, if you use what you have, you don't have nothing to worry about. I mean, I have tons of paper pads here. I have loose scrapbook paper, um, but you hardly see me using that because I rather use manila folders, napkins, uh, printer paper, book paper, junk mail, or whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. that's going to be the series. Uh, product. Um, crafting on a budget for under what 30 bucks yeah and just basically using the basics like i started with i mean i literally started with i when i first started i had no glue gun that was my glue gun right there just this little bottle of glue my glue gun right there mm -hmm. When I became a designer, that's when I got the glue gun. Okay. My mm -hmm. first videos when I started on Facebook, on YouTube, were planner videos. And then I got it back into crafting. And then I started using whatever I had. I mean, Elmer's glue. I started with beading, buying seed beads. Um, I mean... I didn't get into buying laces and trims until I started on a design team. Oh, okay. You know, that's when I started with laces and trims and all of that. But there's one girl that I go to every time to buy my appliques, my laces, my trims. That's DC Scrapping Rooster on YouTube. Oh. And hmm. I will link her youtube channel down below 
I mean, she sells the boxes for, you can get a flat rate box mm -hmm. for the price of the items plus the shipping, and it's still cheap, you mm. know? Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, let me see if I can get her on here. Let me find her. Now, there are so many. I've heard of her, she, she says here, Miss J. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she has a post on Facebook since May 26. Oh, got some pretty laces right there. And I think I have all of those. Let me see if I can get her in the chat. Mm-hmm. Getting all the glue type thing. I don't know what it was, but we're trying to get it off. Okay, I'm chatting with her now. Mm -hmm. Let me send her the link to the YouTube and let her come in and um, there and let her state herself what she sells and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've been buying from her for years, and when I see how she packages her laces and trims in the boxes, mm -hmm. if y'all go on my channel and look up uh, a purchase haul from DC Scrap and Rooster, y'all will get how she packages, I mean, literally, I don't know how she fits a huge order into a large flat rate box literally <laughs> i mean it's amazing how she does that mm -hmm. you know i don't really i don't know if i know exactly the size of that one but you know i can imagine her fitting a lot of things in there oh she filled it to the brim and oh, i tell okay. her when i see something that i like and she knows what i like so when she sells the boxes i'm like Neri, you know what I like. You know what I use to craft with. Pack it to the rim and let me know the price. So, you know. Mm -hmm. That's how I do it. Yep. Is she like coming on right now? Or? Hang on. No, she's going to be in the chat. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting to hear her answer. Do you have like a link to her page or something? Like I'm going to get it. Hang on. Because that is all. I mean, you can go on her chat. Oh, I see some laces that I. I, 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 I. <laughs> I have it. Um, let me see if I can find. Okay, here comes the link to her channel. Let me see what she says. Her website is still under uh, construction right now, but uh... <clears throat> 
Even I Margaret can tell you, Margaret's ordered from her too, how beautiful her laces are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, and she looking? just put out a video. Let me see if I can get the video to pop up. Hang on. Okay, give her a second. She'll come in the chat. But I want to put up her channel. Let's see. If we do this and I share. Share screen. Share. See? Here's her channel. Let me get this out of the way. This is her channel right here. Okay. Let me see. There. And look, here's one of her videos. Look at the laces. As soon as this thing goes over. Oh, that looks good. Let's see? see. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's her laces. Oh. I don't have that one yet. Mary's <laughs> been holding out on me. I have that one. And a lot of the lace that she sells, you can put it into like three different laces. Oh, Look okay. That one, how pretty. Absolutely beautiful. And you see, she'll put down here which ones are sold and stuff like that. Oh, well now, Miss Neary has <laughs> been holding out on me. Okay, there she is in the chat, guys. Talk about pressures, she says. <laughs> no, don't <laughs> feel any pressure. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. No Just showing pressure. off your beauties, my dear. <laughs> now, she can tell y'all prices and stuff like that. And let me make her a mod. Oh, I have to be on YouTube to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Vanessa. And she can put the link to her store, her Etsy, and all that in the chat. Okay, Neri. Anything you want to put, you can. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I dropped what I was doing just to help out my crafty friends. Now, Neri, if you want, you can put, I already put the link to your channel. You can put the link to your Etsy and to your shop in the chat if you want. Love you too, Neri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I give her a budget, and let me tell you, the budget I give her, she always sticks to it. And I always get a box full. And the first, you know, I, I, I don't know if I should really ask this because if I know the answer, I know what's going to happen. Uh, but is it like, you know, do you ship to overseas? That's my question. I don't really want to know because if you do, you know, of course I pay extra shipping, but, you know, is it even possible to order something from overseas? <laughs> Etsy is Neri's Laces. The new website is nearestlaces.com. Hmm. Now, Neri, Mrs. Gigi's question is, do you ship overseas? I think she ships everywhere. And I can, you know, can definitely see like extra shipping costs and things like that. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, and of course, that would be something that I would pay. Shipping for. is possible, but shipping is so expensive. I know it, it's, it's expensive, but, <laughs> you know, some well, of the when things. She sees what uh, she likes, Neri. 
let me tell you. The thing Europe. is, like some some pieces are hard to find here in Europe. That's what I'm. I know trying. there's a lot of a lot of places <laughs> that have a hard time finding what she has. And you know, I did pay, pay almost two thousand dollars in shipping the actual price of the journal and the. Uh, the fee for customs so <laughs> I know it's expensive <laughs> trying to work out a deal with a few oh okay with a few carriers keep us updated on that that's what I'm trying to say. Your laces are beautiful. Just the tiny little things that I've seen. <laughs> Girls, I have drawers of Neri's laces in here. It's like almost everything you'll see me use is mostly from Neri. Oh. I can tell you that right now. I use a lot of the laces that I get from her. And my um things. Mm -hmm. Oh, new ones are coming in about a week. I live in Sweden, so you know we can get a lot of things here too, of course, but it is really expensive. So even though i pay the shipping sometimes from like overseas or something it's cheaper for me to do that because it's more expensive to buy it in actual stores or online mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> depending of course you know of the how much your how many yards or how many you know mm -hmm. in, you know things like that <clears throat> Hmm. Me three, says Margaret. <laughs> yeah, Marcus oh, yeah. bought from her. No, Marcus okay. bought, me and Marcus bought, I don't know how much from her. And I am impressed every time I buy from her with the laces. I shop all over the U.S. for great deals. A lot of work, but my craft friend, crafty friends are worth it. I mean, it helps us that you know how know where to go to get the nice stuff you know because we don't mm -hmm. i mean to buy it in bulk through her is better than buying it in a store you know what i mean mm -hmm. if you can buy it in bulk with her then you're good to go i'm trying to mm -hmm. fix my camera nothing mm -hmm. from china that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Really is. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to get, you know, I, when I heard about Neri, it was like, I watched her videos, then I'm friends with her on Facebook, so when I see something I like, I'm just like, Neri, pack it mine <laughs> mm -hmm. and she'll vouch for it because that's how i am i'll say neri here's the price range i want to be at you know what i like to craft with you know how i craft do your job you know do the <laughs> do your work mm -hmm. and she'll send me a a picture of a box with laces just the top layer and all the bottom is hidden. And I'm like, when I, I see the top and the, the top layer in the picture, but I am so surprised and flabbergasted as when I get, get it in person and see the bottom layers that she's put in there. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. <laughs> You can always so text message me for price. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do. You know, I'll look in her videos. I'm like, I want this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I'll send her the screenshot of it. And 
she'll package it. I tell her how much I want. But like I said, by the time she fills the order, I've done, the minute I place it, I've done forgot what I've ordered. So when I get it, I'm totally surprised. Oh, <laughs> but that's a good thing, though. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Oh. But, you know, she is a very laid back person. And mm -hmm. I like ordering from her because the way she is with her customers and she is the type, she'll even put extra, a little gift in there for you. You know, but you don't know mm -hmm. what the gift is until you get it. Oh, okay. So with Neri, I don't mind, you know. I mean, like I'll tell you, I'll tell her, Neri, here's 50 bucks. Pile it mm -hmm. on in. And when I do it that way, I don't know exactly what she's putting in the box until I get the box, because she'll send me, a, like I said, she'll send me a picture of just the top layer. <laughs> Anytime. I mean, if I didn't like what I got from Neri, I wouldn't promote her the way I do. Literally. And look, look what Margaret says. She's top of the line. Mm -hmm. That ain't no lie. I mean, when you have somebody that cares about the customer, that packages True. the way she does, and that takes care of her customers the way they should be, you got it. You got a good business right there. You got mm -hmm. good yep. friendships with your customers. I mean, I will promote Neri anytime because I like the way she handles her customer care. I like the way she packages things. And sometimes she can be a little sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> but but she's kind that. she's really kind hearted, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I find somebody that has a heart like I do. You know, I that find keeps people... the customers coming back definitely, you know? Exactly. Mm. Oh, you're making me blush over here. I'm sorry, but I'm not saying nothing that's not true. I mean, I can message you right now, Neri. I want a yard of this, a yard of that, a yard of that, a, quarter, a half a yard of this, and I'll have it packaged and in the mail in no time. That's the way she is, you know? Her shipping is impeccable. I mean, you place an order today, maybe three to five days you have it in the mail. No problem. Ooh, and I got glue everywhere. I'm just sitting here thinking, you know, I know that my my birthday is in the end of july so i'm like hmm, uh oh what? let me get out the, pay, the credit card <laughs> yeah she's coming uh, shopping that's definitely i definitely have to look into it and see <clears throat> but like i said she you can private message her and she'll help you out she's got great customer service i mean you know, there's nothing bad I can say about Neri, except she's sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing. But I like it. I mean, you never know what you're going to get with Neri. That's the thing. You get your order, and then you never know the freebies that she'll give you. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, Neri's like me, can be sneaky. When you place an order, you know what you're going to get, but you don't know the little extras that come in it. Okay, wait till you upload the new laces. You know oh. what? You can put, if you're in my group, you can put them in my group. 
I'll let you do do your thing in my group, girl. I have no problem with it. I know, you know, I have no problem. Literally, no problem. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do uh, uh -oh. the next couple of days <laughs> looking through. Did and I just then, get Mrs. You know, Gigi to buy some DC scrap and rooster stuff? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I I don't really have too many laces left, and I'm I, I know that I've said that I'm going to use up everything before I buy new things, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but I have to look into it <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, like I said, if I didn't think she was worth it, I wouldn't be promoting her. Trust me on that one. Y'all know how I am. If I don't like something, I'll tell y'all I don't like it. Yep. But not only is she my friend, but she's also my seller. That's why I go to buy my stuff when I need something for a certain project. You know, I'll go to Neri. If I'll send you the link. Not really good at group because okay, I'll put it in. Send me the link and I'll put it in. I don't care. You know, send me all the links to all your um shops and stuff and I'll put it in in the group. But yeah, that is definitely something that I will you know look into more mm -hmm. I mean y'all seen what I do with laces y'all seen the shabby mm -hmm. sickness I do and everything those laces y'all see me with come from Neri and they come from Miss Margaret so mm -hmm. I got the two best providers right there boom yeah. you know <clears throat> So for me, I know what to do tonight, and it is uh -oh, actually. Oh, Mary, be careful! She's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday is in what three weeks, and I know where I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun. To mm -hmm. look into all the laces and all the beautiful things. Her appliques are awesome. I'm going to have to show y'all. I'm going to do a Neary series on my channel. How's that? I know, yeah, Miss J. I have the same issue. It's like. I see this one, I want it, but then you see this one and you want that one also. But Neri knows me, so if I sit, if I tell her to do, uh, say, a hundred and twenty dollars worth of laces, um, she knows what to put in my box. So that's mm -hmm. why I say, I just let her go for it. Oh, you Neri's know? laces right now. It's DCS scrap. Yeah. Uh, okay. We will look into. I will definitely look into the videos. And was it a couple of weeks next week or something that you will release new things, Neri? Mm hmm. Hmm. Even closer to my birthday. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh. But uh, as of right now, Vanessa, I don't know. But I uh, do have to get the kids yeah, I have some to get going because I need to ruin my belly. Talking <laughs> about all these laces is like, er, her, 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 getting me hungry. Mm -hmm. Laces change every month, always different. New ones next week. Ooh. Okay. 
That's good to know. That's good well, to know. Well, Neri, thank you for coming and letting us know. Uh, greatly appreciate it. And good business ventures, girlfriend. Good business ventures. So we're going to end this right here and say, please be careful. Be, be crafty. Be safe. Be blessed. Be kind. Be positive. And we thank you all for being here. It's greatly appreciated. We'll see y'all next week. Same bad channel, same bad time. Unless, hmm, Miss Gigi, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see y'all next week. And I will bring out some of Neri stuff that I have to craft with. So y'all can see what I mean by beautiful laces and trims. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So we'll see y'all next week, the same time. Uh, happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. And I, we will see y'all all in the next video and on the flip side. Happy, look, happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. And bye-bye for now. Bye.